Uh, because of the weakness in the labour market, um, we know that um, companies, businesses, have also been looking at how they can uh, save costs and to avoid uh, retrenchments as much as possible. And one of the ways in which they can do so, of course, is to implement cost-saving measures. Now, um, we have been keeping track of these uh, moves. The companies are required to notify the MOM uh, before the circuit breaker period. We required every single one of them to notify us if they were implementing cost-saving measures in July after the circuit breaker measures had come more or less to an end and we had transited into reopening, the notifications have dropped off sharply. I think what that suggests to us is that companies have been quite responsive. They were trying very hard to retain their staff and they were supported by uh, government uh, measures such as JSS, Job Support Scheme. We'd like to encourage uh, companies with the extension of the JSS to take advantage of the support schemes available to try as best as possible to pivot into new businesses. Um, sometimes it is established companies that are looking to start up you know, new subsidiaries that can take the company forward. And uh, for those kind of companies, that uh, whether it is the established ones or the new one, the jobs growth incentive, we hope, will help them to um, you know, be bolder in their hiring and also because the jobs growth incentive essentially helps them to save on the wage bill when they hire more. And we hope that with that kind of savings, it, it will encourage them and strengthen their ability to expand their hiring.